Hello, this is David Wormsey and this video is really a follow-up to one I did last year which was taking a look at the Beaver Builder themes ability to add mega menus and in the blog post and video that I did I showed how you could extend this further by making the mega menu appear full width and also add HTML so you could show text and images. Now the reason for this video is that there's been an update and if I go over to the change log here we will see under the plugin that as of version 1.10.3 that same mega menu logic has been added to the menu module which means we can now use mega menus in our replacement headers which is particularly exciting if you're a beaver themer user and that's what i'm just going to show you at the moment on this tab i am over at my live demo site for beaver themer which is thema.beaverjunction.com and here I've set up an example page and what you're seeing here is just the default header that Beaver Builder gives you if you set up a replacement header using the Beaver Thema and here I've set up a mega menu which is really easy to do if you go and look at the knowledge base article it's exactly the same as you would do in the theme and we can see here that's just a case of adding to the top menu a class selector called mega dash menu and making sure that you arrange all of the sub menus in a particular order and that's all you need to do to get this and you can take a look by going to beaver theme and to the home page there and you can log in and try this out for yourself but what i've done here is just to extend on what i did in this earlier article you can actually use the PHP that I've got here to add the HTML here if you want images and text. Now, I should note that some people have had a few issues with some of this uh, PHP, and I don't know what's behind that. I've used some sort of fairly standard code, but just a few times people have reported that it's created a temporary issue anyway. But the real reason I want to update it is because here I show some CSS to make that mega menu appear full width. Now, that's not going to work with with the menu module because the selectors are slightly different. So what I've got on this page is an updated version with the new selectors. And I've also slightly amended some of the CSS here, which I'm gonna to explain to you in a minute. But the first thing that you're probably gonna to need to know is just to make sure that you set up this menu module correctly in the first place. So what I've done here is in addition to the standard header that's created by Thema, I've also added a row here with the menu module in it. So I'm just going to go into Page Builder and just explain that first. So let's just go into it. And we'll need to go just over to Style here. Now, the key thing is if you want the drop down shadow, you're going to need to set this to No and do it with CSS. The reason being, if you want this full width effect here, this is only going to show on the content area of the mega menu and not for the full width so we need to remove that drop shadow from here and add it with css that's going to apply to the the full width of it and also just want to mention here this is a new addition that's been added which is this sub menu space in here which i've set to 20 here and if i just go and save this and come out you will see if you compare them that's how it is by default there's not much padding around this but this one i've added 20 and it's got a little bit more padding so that's a new thing that's been added there but here you can see i've not got this full width i hope you can see this okay on the screencast it's just cutting off as it would by standard so here i'm going to add this css just to show how it can go full width and i'll need to for that go to my css editor which i've got set up already and i'm just going to copy and paste in this CSS into my styles.css file. Now, if you're using another theme or you're gonna place this somewhere else, you may need to make the rules more specific, but this will work if it's at the, the bottom of the cascade in the Beaver Builder theme using style CSS. Okay, so I'm just gonna paste that in there. I'll just open it up so we can see it and there we are, we've gone full width and we've got the drop shadow working across all of it. And just, just note some of the changes here. So what I've done here is I've got a little note here saying that if you don't want that drop shadow at all, just remove everything from the bottom there and that'll get rid of it. 
and also a slight change from what was on the original CSS is that this is now height of 101. It's because on this, for some reason, you see a little sort of border bottom here, which only runs the area of the content and not the full width. So by just adding an extra 1% on that, that just hides that away. And also, I'll just note here, I don't know if you'll see it, if I just change the background color here, you might see it. Oops. No, you don't, I don't think. But you just need to make sure that you set the, oh, you might just see it there a little bit. Um, the top and bottom has a slight border. So if you make sure that whatever background is in your CSS here is set to the same background color, which has been set in your module itself, then you're not going to see any top and bottom border on there. So that's just something to be aware of. And I've also got a top border here if you wanted to add a darker color anyway. So there we are, we can see a little one pixel and I could increase that. So I think that pretty much is all you need to do with that. You just need to add this bit of CSS and then you can apply anything else that was in that earlier blog post of mine. And as I say, this is at thema.beaverjunction.com here. So you can actually come in and play around with the modules itself. Anyway, I hope that was useful and I'll catch you on another video soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.